Hello. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Hello, my name is Shelby Neely. I am a sophomore at Millard South. Thank you. And this is my poem, Live Streaming the Apocalypse on TikTok. As Billy Joel played faintly on the radio and citizens sobbed out despair, host cried on a talk show and the rest of us kneeled in prayer for the end to come quick or perhaps not at all, for nobody likes to see things they love fall. Live on Twitter, a water tower broke while smoky rivers ran dry. That day, old man Cole went out for a smoke. The fire it caught in the blink of an eye. The forest was ash, the water long gone. Relax, take a seat. That was only part one. Several towns over, an earthquake appeared. The ground shook a little. Then it seems the town simply disappeared. I guess the earth was too brittle. In a single rumble, a whole town was dead. Cheer up, I've got worse things to dread. Miles away lived little Miss Sally, who noticed the water creeping along. If you guess she was ignored, then add another tally. But Sally was right. Something was wrong. The town trusted her, but it wasn't enough. And then they all drowned. Guess it wasn't a bluff. On vacation, a little boy cried, skin red and sunburned. All he could hear was the crashing of tide. Here's, you see, here's the lesson he learned. A tsunami came quick, a colossal wave. It's the ocean, and it's also his grave. In Tornado Alley, the sky was gray, the air calm and eerie. Some already knew the definition of disarray, while well, some had to ask Siri. Well, all we learned through and through is that, guess what, Alexa can't save you. Yesterday, I watched a man die on TikTok. Last month, I watched a whole war online. All I can hear is the ticking of a clock, and I think we are running out of time. While greed finds itself feeling unsated, me, you, and apathy are getting acquainted. So you're live streaming the apocalypse on TikTok, because what else is there to do? Drag yourself out of your shock, or ignore what you don't have to view? But you, because no matter how fat, short, skinny, or tall, we all get our chance to fall. It's humanity's 11th hour. The doomsday clock is 100 seconds out. A couple of greedy men wanted power, so now we all get to count down. But please don't worry, because there's always something new in the long, long line of death's self-cue. I'd be surprised if you weren't bitter about my elaborate speech. So before you go and check Twitter, to you I do beseech. The weather gets worse and so do our chances. Please remember, we once changed our circumstances.